Hello and welcome, I'm James Arnold Taylor and it's time to look at the world of Star Wars from a certain point of view. Yes, this is the Star Wars debate show you're looking for, where we discuss the light and dark sides of controversial issues from that galaxy far, far away. So here's how it works. Our guests get 60 seconds to debate our topics. Whether it's light or dark, that's up to you to decide. So let's meet our fantastic guests. He is the voice of Starkiller, The Sun, and Darth Maul, as well as many other things, stars of film and television. Sam Witwer, you're back again. I'm, back. I'm never going to leave. Oh, look at that. You know, see what I got there? Look at that. Oh, look, look at that. that. Can you see that? Well, there he is right there, Starkiller. I want to see. Always you. Well, not yet. We haven't gotten to you yet. Okay, here he is, a living legend, the voice of Winnie the Pooh, Tigger 2, Darkwing Duck, Cat Dog, Tasmanian Devil. It goes on so long. Just go to IMDb and you'll have reading for the whole day. All right, but he is also the nefarious various pirate Hondo Onaka on Star Wars The Clone Wars. He is my hero, Jim Cummings. Jim. Thanks for inviting me out to play. So Yay. This is, this is I fantastic. love this space shuttle you have here. <laughs> The great. ride was a little iffy, <laughs> that one asteroid belt, but all is well. You got through? Yeah, the driver so far, is so good. good. Okay, so here's how it works. 60 seconds. Here's the first topic. Return of the Jedi. Who is the title referring to? That's an interesting question. Anakin, Luke, or the Jedi Order. Let's start with you, Sam. What I think it's referring to Anakin Skywalker. Yes. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> it's sure. clearly, it's Anakin Skywalker. The guy's been through a lot. He yeah. had to maul some things over and he finally decided. Maul some things. I like how you uh, used to maul some things over. Throw it in there. Um, but yeah, he, he, uh, he made his choice and he became the man that he was meant to be all along. So it's not, yeah, it's not he Vader, returns. it's Anakin. 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 What do you think, Jim? I don't know. I don't know. The, the Jedi, I mean, the Jedi, not this particular one. <laughs> yeah, that's not the title. So I'm thinking, the Jedi. So, so the Jedi maybe Order. they're all back like the Knights Templar. It is the bringing back of the entire whole, process in the Jedi Order back. and all. I feel like that order was a sick order and a little <laughs> oh, bit yeah. too dogmatic and really just kind of needed to go. That's so just, it's the return of the true uh, meaning of a Jedi, and we that could, could be that. then Luke Skywalker would be the purest form of that, wouldn't he? Well, see, now you're just obscuring everything. And I'm debating all of a now, sudden. Look at this. Look, you've blown his mind. Now, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They were, they're all back. They're all back. They're back because don't forget, they went on from there to, to basically kick some serious Whoa! butt. Oh! And it wasn't just one of them. Yeah, no, that's true. It's time, time, time. Fair enough. Went okay, okay. It's good, it's good. We're going good. We got a good one here. So far? I like this one. It's a little different. Intergalactic grudge match. Darth Maul or Darth Vader. Jim, what say you? Oh, Darth. Darth comes out on top. <laughs> Jim, you're right. There's, uh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you we got agree. it. Okay, Wait a second. Good. Wait a second. No, honestly, though, which one do you think? Darth Vader? Darth Maul? <sighs> Really? I, Watch yourself, Jim. I kind of know where he's going to go. I, I'm going to go with Vader. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not wearing all that black for nothing. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Come on. He invented bad guy. Yeah. Look at him. So, Halfway Nazi looking helmet. Come on. I don't know. Darth Maul? I'm going to have to go with Darth Maul. He has fabulous dance moves. Yeah. He's got a great marching band baton skills. Um, and he's got a, he's, he's tatted up, bro. You're a bit biased, but Darth Vader. I don't know, the horns, it's just. It's, it's, Vader, it's, it's, though, he wipes out what? Yeah, I mean, you, you know, think the about it. Jedi he's order. capable of just coming in and just, you know, shattering your zip code. <laughs> and, and goodbye to everybody. I mean, he's, he's over here. It's like he comes in and kills every Jedi. And I'm sorry, now who did, I think he, Darth Maul annoyed someone somewhere along yeah, the well, line. He, well, I think oh Darth Maul did off kill. Somebody pissed him off a little. Yeah, well, Maybe he, raised a welt. Darth Maul did kill Satine. Oh, oh too oh, soon. Oh, oh Qui-Gon oh. Jim, yes, too soon. Morning, morning. Morning. And there's your buzzer, Sam Whitwer. I'm gonna have to say that Jim Cummings won that round. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Woo, boy. Okay, and this last one is more of a lightning round, kind of fun. Better court jester. You'll love this one, Jim. I do. Salacious Crumb or Pilf Muck Muck. First of all, I hope everybody here knows who Pilf Muck Muck is. Who is Pilf Muck Muck? Why, well, it's funny you ask, Sam. Mm. Uh, as it turns out, that Pilf Muck Muck is half of the lizard monkeys that inhabit the entire Star Wars universe. Wait a second, are you talking about he that monkey He happens with to live right on here. Hondo on Hondo Hondo and, Hondo and, and what would Hondo say about Pilf? Hondo would say, I'm this close to naming you Milf Puck Puck, but you lucked out, so shut up and do as you're told. Yeah. The I thing think about Pilf, though, like Salacious Crumb, has, you know, he's a good gesture, you know, basically, he has those, there's that great joke That's where true. he goes, <laughs> which is hilarious. Yeah. Whereas yeah, Pilf yeah. Muck Muck has become an alcoholic. Yeah, he's playing around true. with weapons. And he poops. And but he, as exactly. J.C. Reifenberg had brought up, a good guy to hang out and get a drink with. Pilf That's is true. Really one of the only ones that he's a good guy to have a drink, drink with, but it's, you don't, he doesn't, he can't hold on a job. Like, <laughs> Salacious is well, employed. He's, he's basically the artful dodger to uh, Hondo's Fagan. 
Man. He sends him out. He, they, they hit a bar. He yeah. goes out. He, he picks a few pockets. He comes back. All of a sudden, Hondo's rich as hell, and he gets all the chicks and leaves. And Pilf doesn't Pilf get the credit. Muck, muck. No. I think Pilf yeah. Muck Muck is uh, pulling in first here. Okay. I think so, too. Well, it is time now to get <laughs> your point of view. You guys are great. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is an odd one today. <laughs> The views expressed on a certain point of view are of our guests and not necessarily representative of the Comlink Channel, Unigo Inc., Absolute Value Pictures, or their subsidiaries. A certain point of view and the Comlink Channel have no affiliation with Lucasfilm or Disney. All views and comments are for entertainment purposes only and should be enjoyed no matter what your point of view.